on a summer Sunday afternoon they gathered as one, united in their opposition to the decision to release Michel Martin. The white balloons, a symbol of hope, hope that these terrible crimes should never be repeated. On the stage, the father of one of Dutroux's young victims. His family, he says, is now a victim of Belgium's judicial system. For us, it's very premature. Let's not forget this woman let four children die and raped and kidnapped another ten children. So the facts are quite serious, and for that reason, she should still be in prison. The former wife and accomplice of Marc Dutroux, Belgium's notorious serial child killer, Michel Martin, was found guilty of complicity in helping her husband in the kidnapping of six young girls. They were locked up in a specially constructed underground dungeon at their home. Two of the girls were murdered, two were found alive, and two starved to death, dying of neglect while Martin was in the house and her husband in prison on charges of car theft. Police investigating the missing girls were accused of negligence and incompetence, failing to find two of the girls when they searched Dutroux's home. Michel Martin served 16 years of a 30-year sentence here at Birkendale Prison in Brussels. Such was the feeling of outrage she was forced to wear a bulletproof vest during court appearances. Three weeks ago, Belgium's sentencing court ruled that she was eligible for parole and qualified for early release. She's due to enter the Clarisse Convent, 60 miles southwest of Brussels at Malone. No, Michel Martin! Thousands of local no, residents Michel demonstrated outside the convent when the decision to release her was announced. And there is predictable but deep-seated anger and outrage over the court ruling. I think this march is not just for the children themselves, it's really about the justice system. People have been sentenced to a certain sentence and they can get out of jail basically as one-third of, uh, of, the, of the punishment, which is still very, very short for most of the people. It's still very reasoned, it's still in the minds of people and that, that's what's hurting. At Belgium's Court of Last Appeal, the prosecutor and relatives of the victims will be seeking to overturn the decision to release Michel Martin. They've been given 30 days to present their case. If they fail in their appeal, and we'll know the answer to that at the end of the week, then Michel Martin will be taken from her prison cell and handed into the care of the nuns of the convent. For, for these people here, her crimes were of such enormity that this judicial ruling will simply be unacceptable. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Brussels.